Today we're gonna to make some breaded chicken goujon. So you can see that I've just got some chicken breast and I am just gonna cut it into thin strips so that they are a similar size. You could do it so that you've got nuggets um, where you're cutting it into chunks. It's entirely up to you. Um, if you have got on the underside, if you have got a mini fillet, you can just trim that off and then that would give you a goujon. even size strips and cut that one into two because it's a slightly bigger bit okay if you had quite a thick chicken breast you could slice it in half once you've chopped up your chicken you're going to do something which is called panning so you're going to flour egg and then breadcrumb so the flour just kind of gives it a drier coating to it and then you shake it off so I've just got some seasoned plain flour so just shake it off and pop it into your egg that you can just coat it around and the egg is there because it's going to seal it so it's going to coat it it'll protect your protein and then um, it'll also stick the breadcrumbs onto it okay so these are just shop bought breadcrumbs but you can make your own so you can always uh, toast some bread or you can whiz some bread up and then toast the breadcrumbs in the oven just to get make them a bit crunchier or you can just use plain breadcrumbs you can add seasoning to your breadcrumb mix you can add seasoning to your flour so you could always add herbs and spices to your flour and your breadcrumbs and then you then have your chicken goujon Once you've finished all of your breadcrumbing, um, if you wanted it extra crispy, you could put them into the fridge and leave them to set for a bit. And then you could repeat the process of um, dipping them in egg and then dipping them into your breadcrumbs. And then you need to put them onto a baking tray and you're gonna bake them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on um, gas mark five or 190 degrees C until your chicken's cooked through and white all the way through to the center and your breadcrumbs are crispy. Once your chicken goujons are white all the way through or if you've got a temperature probe, they've reached 75 degrees C, they are then ready to serve.